Hi there everyone, welcome back to Infinity Drones. In the last video we took a look at how to install Virtual Flight on your PC, but now it's available for Android. All you really need to do is just type into Google DJI Avata Download and that'll take you to the DJI website where you can download the, the DJI Virtual Flight application. This says DJI Avata, but it is compatible with the DJI FPV drone as well. So you don't have to worry about that. So if you've got a DJI FPV drone or the DJI Avata, you should be able to move on with it. You'll also see there's a link for the DJI Fly app, since you'll need to have that on your phone. You don't need to have the latest one, but if you have the Avata, you would need to upgrade to the latest one. Since you have the links right here, you can download to your machine and then just put the APK to your phone and you can take it from there. But in our case, we are just downloading the APK straight to our phone because we've opened it up in our mobile browser. It's a 1.8 gig file you need to download. So once you've downloaded it, you can just click on it and it's going to pop up with the install process. Now, if there's a warning that you need to enable unknown sources, just follow the prompts and you should be able to do that. In my case, I can just click install and it's going to take me through the process. Now you can see in my case, it gave me an error. It didn't want to install purely because I have already installed it on my phone. So don't worry too much about that. It should go through the whole installation process. Just go to your app drawer and then you can just type in DJI or virtual flight. Once that happens, then it's going to pop up and open on your phone. Just give it a couple of seconds and then it's going to run through. And once DJI virtual flight has opened, it'll take you through the whole process one by one. First, you need to agree. And then the next step you're going to do is just going to log in with your DJI account. Or if you don't have a DJI account, you can just join or create. I always say and ignore the improvement program. I really think it's stupid. So just ignore that. Over here, you can just type in your login details. The same one you use on the GoFor app or the DJI Fly app. You just type in with your DJI um, account details. And once you've logged in, you'll be able to proceed to the next step. So remember, if you don't have an account, just create an account. Okay. But... To do the or use the flight simulator you would need to have the dji controller and items like that so you can't just use any controller to work with this once you've logged in you'll see there's an option that says ready to go you can simply just tap on ready to go and it'll take you to the next step where you can decide how you would like to use a simulator you can use a remote controller only or you can use all three the motion controller the goggles and the phone in my case i'm going to select the remote controller because i've got the dji fpv drone so i want to use the controller the goggles as well as my phone so in my scenario i'm just going to go and click on the remote controller option on the left once i've selected that option it's going to take you through the steps just follow the instructions make sure your drone is turned off okay um, if it's not turned off you don't need to have it turned on the only way only reason you would have it turned on is to link everything up for the first time so in my case i needed to link the controller to my goggles because i have not done that before and how you do that is you link everything to the drone so turn the drone on press the button on the back link the controller to the drone and then you press the button on the back of the drone again and then you link your goggles to the drone and then the goggles and the remote would also be in sync so you can just make sure that you've done all those steps then click on the next button and then move on to the next option where you're going to turn on your goggles as i just mentioned it would ask you to connect your or power up your goggles and then connect it to your phone so you take the otg cable that came with your goggles you plug it into your goggles and then you take a usb type c cable and you plug it into the goggles otg adapter and then into your phone how you would know that it's connected properly is that your phone would automatically start charging as well as the DJI app would automatically open on your device. You would simply then just exit the DJI Fly app and then you would be able to connect to your body. You would actually have to have a pop up on your phone that would ask you, would you want to allow the um, DJI Fly simulator to access to your device? Now, once you've given access, the next option is to connect your controller. Basically, just by powering on your controller, it would automatically link up to your goggles. If it does not, it means your controller is not linked up yet. And let's just go through the process I showed earlier where you turn on the drone and the goggles and you link them all up by binding them. If this already bound, then it should connect properly. Once that's done, you're going to get this menu in front of you where you can select which option you want. In my case, I'm going to go and select on I'm a beginner because I think most people using the DJI Flight Simulator would be a beginner. And it essentially is going to take you through the whole process. Now, as you open it, you would need to decide how you would like to use your controller. Most people use mode 2. If you're flying any DJI drone, you will be flying mode 2. 
select the Avado or the FPV drone, um, it doesn't make a difference, and then you'll be prompted with an uh, option to calibrate your controller or just set it up. This is going to make you more familiar with the process. So in this case, we selected mode 2 for the controller, meaning yaw and throttle, turning left and turning right and going upward, or giving power will be on the left side, and then obviously rolling and pitching will be on the right side. You also have your brake, your gimbal button, and your start-stop button. You're not really going to be using them too much in the FPV simulator too much, but it is nice to know if you are going to practice pressing certain buttons that you can do that in the simulator. Next, they're going to check that everything works properly. In this case, you can see my throttle is on my left side, it's going up and down if I'm in normal mode. If I was in a manual mode, it would obviously be more power. But in this case, we're flying normal mode, so turning left and right would be exactly the same like you would be with a Mavic. And last, you'll be able to see, uh, we're just going to do the, the roll stick next. And once that's done, you'll be able to see pitch and roll is on the right hand side. So once again, your throttle and yours on the left stick, your pitch and your roll is on your right stick. Exactly the same like it would be on a Mavic controller. Once that's done, they're going to move you over to the next section where you're going to have, have a chance to practice um, the start stop button as well as the gimbal button. The start stop button is just nice. If you are in a manual mode, you can press that button twice quickly to start the motors. Only if you're in manual mode, by the way. And if you want to disable the motors or turn it off, you just double tap it again. Once again, it's a safety feature that you can't accidentally just press the button to turn on the drone. You have to double tap it. The gimbal dial is very important, especially if you're flying manual mode. You'll be able to tilt the camel, camera in a certain angle to make you go faster or slower. The higher the angle, the faster you're going to fly. If you're in normal mode, you'll be able to fly quite nice and just hover and be able to look up and down without um, having to fly around as well. Now your mode switches on the left index finger essentially. This is where you can switch between normal mode, sport mode and manual mode. Um, in the example we're going to give you now, we're going to be flying in normal mode. So when you click finish, it'll take you to back home section. Just click on that. You can't do the try again in the other options yet. They want to force you through the program so that you can get used to how it works. Once you've gone back to the main screen, you'll be able to click on the enter button to finish the tutorial section. But as soon as you click on the enter button, it's going to ask you to decide what type of drone are you going to use. So in this case, I'm using the remote controller too. I'm not using the motion controller. So I'm going to click ready to go. And then it's going to ask me which drone I'd like to use, the Avada or the DJI FPV drone. Now, after you've selected your drone, you can then click on the DJI virtual flight option at the bottom. And it's going to give you a little section where you can go into the time trial. Now you only have one option since this is the first time you're using it. So just click ready to go and it's going to take you to the first track. Now once you click on that track, it's going to load depending on your PC or your phone speed. It'll take a while, but shouldn't take longer than 10-15 seconds. Once that's done, you should be at the main screen where it's going to say flip your controller over to N mode because we're flying in Mavic mode. Now for me, it was very interesting because I'm used to flying in FPV mode. So flying in Mavic mode used, well, it was pretty, pretty weird if I have to admit. So once you get the hang of it, it's quite easy. Remember your throttles on your left side and your roll and pitch is on your right side. So as you can see here, yeah, once you get the hang of flowing around, then yeah, you can crash, you can do whatever you want to. Just try and follow the green little boxes on your screen. Like you see now, I've got my bearings. I've just figured out now I'm flying a Mavic and not the FPV drone. So you can just follow the green little lines all the way through to the end. This is really as simple as that. It's very confusing and daunting in the beginning to get used to the controls and the way that the screen tilts left or right. But really, really is worth it, especially if you have the goggles on your head while you're practicing indoors before you're going outdoors and try and fly well try flying outdoors in the real world so in my opinion put the goggles on put your phone on just get some flight time in the simulator with the dji fpv drone so you can maybe go and change your rates and make it more comfortable to fly now i am going to cover rates and the actual manual mode in the next video but up until then please just make use of the simulator it is really worth it if you guys enjoy the content that I'm making, please consider to like and subscribe. Maybe leave a comment below. I would really appreciate your feedback. Thank you very much.